Great storytellers cheat all the time, and I'm gonna tell you how they do it right now so that you can be a part of this elite crowd. I told you that great storytellers cheat, and here's what I mean by this. We all collect stories, and then we take from those. It allows us to show up in the world and wow an audience. And so if you wanna do that, I wanna tell you the tool, the way to do this, that's going to enable you to cheat just like the best storytellers I know all do. And what I call it is a story bank. You might be familiar with this from the movie Harry Potter. In the movies, Dumbledore has a device called the Pensieve. Dumbledore takes memories out, puts them in these little jars, and when he needs to go and relive a memory, he pours it in and he's able to watch it. So you need to build your own. You can store these stories. And so what I like to do every day, when something pops up, something interesting, write it down. It doesn't matter what it is. It's still a story. Every day you have some sort of story. Maybe it's you're watching something on TV and it stood out. Maybe you're watching The Last Dance and something M MJ said stood out to you and said, oh, I need to take a note down of this. Or maybe like me the other day, I was watching an episode of Vikings and a line stood out when Ragnar was talking about why do we fight inwards when we should be fighting outwards. And the, the immediate thought to me was, oh, this is a perfect storytelling framework for how to position a future story and a strategic narrative of this is the old world, this should be the new world. And so I wrote it down. I put it in my notes and now I was able to pull it up right here because I actually stored it. You do the same for stories. And so once you start recording your everyday stories, then the next piece you're gonna go is backwards. You're going to think through early life. You're going to think through college years. You're going to think through early work life. You're going to think through mid work life and you can break it down however you want. You could break it down ages zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Then what you're going to do is you're going to categorize them into different categories, right? So you're going to have work stories. You're going to have family stories. You're going to have friend stories. You're going to have travel stories. You're going to have other stories. And you're just gonna go through and think of five or so stories for each time period in each one of those categories. All you've gotta do is make a quick little line summary and say, here's what the story was about, here's the emotion I felt, and that's really it. Once you start getting in this habit and practicing pulling stories out, you realize how many stories you actually have. Then, once you have all these stories, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go and you're gonna find the 10 to 15 best the ones that you believe are gonna land with an audience and you're gonna practice those so that you're always ready. This is one of the, the tricks that I've used anytime I'm being interviewed, anytime I'm giving a talk, a keynote, and people have a Q&A after, anytime I'm on a podcast, I always have these stories ready to go. I have stories about sports in my own life. I have stories about work in my own life. I have stories about travel in my own life. But then I also go a step further, and you can do this too. You can create stories. You can take these stories in from other sources. Like I said, the, the story about Vikings. You can take stories from your colleagues. You can take stories from your family. You can take anecdotes. You can take stories from movies and television and books. You can take parables and you start using those as your own stories to highlight points. There's a great example of this in the show Super Pump. This is talking about Travis Kalanick and Uber. And when he is talking to Bill Gurley, what he does is he just takes other stories and starts sharing them to highlight his point. That banquet scene with the bat? Capone's just like walking, talking. <laughs> He brains that guy. That it changed me. It felt like my skull that just got hit with a bat. I couldn't sleep for like a week. I felt horrible for the guy. I mean, you just get brained at dinner, but I saw the point. That's what you can do too. And by creating the story bank, what you're gonna find is all of a sudden it becomes a whole lot easier to become a great storyteller. This is a tool that is going to easily 10X your storytelling ability. Now it's gonna take a little bit of upfront work, but then it just is effortless, effortless, effortless. And the best part about all of this, people are gonna to come to you and say, how did you get so good at telling such great stories? And the only thing you're gonna to need to answer, it's magic. This video right here, it's gonna help you go even further on what we talked about today so you can start putting it to action and really seeing the result. Because at the end of the day, that's what we care about most. So check out this video, watch it, and go out and execute.